Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you today? Great. Great. So in the previous lesson, we have read about face-to-face -face learning and online learning. Today, we are going to discuss advantages and disadvantages of online learning, okay? okay? But first, let's play a game. It's called Jigsaw Puzzles. Have you ever played this game before? No? Yes? Okay, let's try today. So I have five pictures on the slide. I will divide you into two teams, Team A and Team B. You will take turn to open each puzzle and answer the question. For each correct answer, you will get 10 points. And for the key picture, you can answer the key picture anytime in the game, okay? And you will get 10, 20 points if you get it correct. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, let's play it. Team A, which one do you choose? Picture three. Picture three? What is the name of this application? It's Zoom. It's Zoom? Correct. You got it very fast because you're, we are using it for learning, right? Okay, team B. Um, I would take number five. Number five? What is it? It's a, headphone. it's a headphone. Let's see if it's correct. Um, there's another word for this. It's called a headset. Okay? For headphones, it would be plural, headphones. So it's a headset. So Team B got no point for this question. Sorry. No. Back to Team A. Uh, choose picture four. Picture four. What is it? I think that is a Wi-Fi router. It's a Wi-Fi router, okay? It's a Wi-Fi router. So, um, should I give you five points? Yeah, <laughs> for the effort. Okay, so for the effort, Team A got five points. It's a Wi-Fi router. Back to Team B. I would take number one. Number one. What is it? A laptop, correct. Team B, 10 points. Okay, uh, does any team want to answer the key picture or you want to open the last puzzle? Me. Okay, team B? I want to answer the key picture. Yes, so the key picture is? Online learning. Online learning. Yes, correct. Uh, but can you tell me, oh, so you get 20 point. Can you tell me why? Oh, for team B, sorry. Okay. Can you tell me why you think it's online learning? Because I can see a student stand, uh, sitting in front of uh, a laptop and a Zoom in an online class. Mm -hmm. You can see the teacher is giving a lecture, right? Yeah. Does team A, do you want to open the, the second picture or team B? Which one is, who, who is faster? Team A, okay, Team A, can you answer the second picture? What are these? I think those are earphones. Earphones? Yes. So Team A got 10. So Team A got 35 points and Team B got 30 points. Team A got 25 points, 25. Oh, 25. <laughs> okay. So team A, 25 points, and team B, 30 points. So the winner is team B. Congratulations. So in the previous lesson, you have read about online learning and face-to-face -face learning. Now I would like you to think about what you have read about the advantages and disadvantages of online learning only and fill in the blanks on the slide. Look at the slide. List the advantages and disadvantages of online learning from the previous lesson, okay? You will have three minutes to discuss with your friend next to you, starting now. Are you ready? Nhi and Kang, could you please go to the board and write down the advantages and disadvantages?
Here you are. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Nhi, can you please stand up and read out loud all these advantages again? Okay. Through online discussion board. So here it should be with the S, discussion. Okay? Okay, let's check the answer. The first one, you don't have to go to school, correct? And the second one, you can talk and exchange comments with your friends and ideas through emails and online discussion board. Correct. How about the disadvantages? Can, can, can you read it out loud again? Um, so we can't discuss and communicate with friends. We can't ask for answers or help from teachers immediately. Mm -hmm. There are also lots of distractions mm -hmm. and we need a fast internet connection. Okay, so for in online learning, you can't discuss and communicate with friends, okay? We'll check the answer. Okay, it's correct. And the second one, the second disadvantage is, is that you can't ask for answers or help from your teachers immediately. And there are lots of distractions. Correct. And also, when you learn online, you need a fast Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, you got it all correct. So these are the advantages and disadvantages from the previous lesson that we have read about, okay? Now, can you open your book? There's a table and some advantages and disadvantages of online learning. Now, you work with your friend next to you. Now look at the board. We have six statements here, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now you have two minutes to put the statement into the correct column. Okay, starting now. Nhật Anh, can you please go to the board and put the statements into the correct 
columns. Here you are. Yes. You can just write A, B, C. So you think A is one advantage of online learning, D and E. And disadvantages would be B, C, and F. Okay. Can you please read it out loud again? Advantages will be A, we can learn at our own pace. Mm -hmm. um, D, we can learn anytime and anywhere with an internet connection. Mm -hmm. And E, we can organize our own study schedule. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the disadvantage would be B, C, and F. With B being, we may have technical problems. C, we sit in front of a computer for a long time. And F, we can discuss or talk to each other face to face. Okay, thank you. Do you know what pace means? So statement A says, we can learn at our own pace. Do you know what pace means? I think it's testing similar learning to speed. Speed, yes. Yeah. So at your own pace means at your own speed. Okay? Let's check the answer. So the advantages of online learning are A, D, and E. Correct? And of course, disadvantages would be the remain three statements, B, C, and F. So now I'm gonna divide the class into four groups. Group one, two, three, and four. So group one and two, you will discuss about why you think online learning is advantageous, okay? And group three and four, you will explain why you are against online learning. Look at the table on the board. You will give evidence or examples to support your ideas, whether you are for or against online learning. Okay? I will give you five minutes to discuss within your group, and then you will go to the board and give your explanation. Okay, you can start now. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so now I will give you an example. For example, you are for online learning. You think online learning, you can learn anytime and anywhere with an inter internet connection. So the example or evidence would be you don't have to go to school or you can save time. If you are against online learning and you think online learning would harm our health, you will give example, it can cause short-sightedness or backache, okay? Now, you will base on the advantages and disadvantages of online learning that we have discussed in the previous activities and give evidence or examples for your choice, okay? Can Nhật Anh from group one, and Khang from group four, can you come to the board and write down your answer?
Okay, Nhật Anh, can you please read this opinions out loud and your examples and evidence? So my so the, the first advantage, the first advantage is, is would be we'll be able to learn at our own pace because mm -hmm. people can record the lesson and listen again until they fully understand. Okay. Yes, because they can record the lesson again and and listen to the lesson again. Okay. Um, next thing is that people can organize their own study schedule mm -hmm. because people can now take evening class and have more time during the day since they don't have to waste so much time. Mm -hmm. So they would have more time during the day. And finally, as I said, uh, they can learn anytime and anywhere because people don't have to go to school and save a lot of time on moving around. Thank you. So about the disadvantages and why you are against online learning. Khang, can you please read your opinions out again? So I think for the first disadvantage, which is technical problems that we might encounter during online classes, um, we could, one of the main examples would be the bad connection or mm -hmm. broken microphone. Mm -hmm. Correct. We are also required to sit in front of the computer for a long time. This causes eyes problem and body aches. Yes. Um, and we also can't discuss and talk face to face, which means that we can't ask questions and probably won't be able to understand the lesson thoroughly. Correct. Okay. <laughs>Move to the next activity. We'll do a role play in an educational talk show. I will be the MC and I would like one member from group one or two works with one member from group three and four. You will choose any role below. You can be a Zoom CEO or a teacher or a student or a parent. You will give your opinions about online learning, whether you are for or against online learning and give your evidence. During the talk show, you should use these useful expressions. For the advantage of online learning, you can say a positive aspect of online learning is or a benefit of online learning is. And if you are against online learning, you can use the expressions like a disadvantage of online learning is that a negative aspect of online learning is, or an argument against online learning is. Use these useful expressions for your opinions. I will give you five minutes to discuss with your friend, and you will come here and we'll do the talk show. Are you clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's start now. Okay, have you finished? Are you ready for our talk show? Okay, can um, Khang from group two, right? And Nhi from group four, go to the board and we'll do the talk show. I'll be the MC, okay? Okay, can you sit here? Good morning, welcome to our talk show. Today, we're gonna discuss advantages and disadvantages of online learning. We have here today Ms. Kang and Ms. Nhi. Ms. Kang, can you please introduce yourself? So I'm currently a student and I'm for the idea of online learning. Mm -hmm. And I'm Kang's mother. I'm here against the uh, I'm I'm here against the idea of uh, you of online learning. Of online learning. Okay. So Kang, as a student, you say that you are for the idea of online learning. So can you give us uh, a reason why you like online learning? I would say a positive aspect of online learning is that I have a very flexible schedule, mm -hmm. especially when classes allow, I'm, I'm now allowed to choose my classes schedule and I could choose maybe evening schedules and do other things in the day. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, why don't you like online learning? Uh, so as a parent, I think that online learning has many drawbacks. Mm -hmm. uh, 
drawback of online learning is that it can cause many health problems mm -hmm. like poor eyesight or break our neck and back pain. Mm -hmm. And also it can cause obesity. Obesity. Yeah, uh, yeah I agree with you. Um, Hang, as a student, is there any other reason why you would like online learning? I think a benefit of online learning is that I can record my the lessons. So it helps me to study at my own pace as I'm allowed to re-watch re the videos as many times as possible. So it's easier for me to take in the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you think that you can record the lesson again so you can listen to it again when you are home, right? Yeah. Yes. So, um, Nhi, as a parent, is there any other disadvantage of online learning? Do of you think course. it's uh, another negative aspect? I think of online learning is that uh, the it can cause the poor connection, poor internet. Is uh, and also it make the student is hard to follow the lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you during a classes, if you during the class and uh, the intonation is not stable, uh, the student cannot follow the lessons, so they may lose their uh, knowledge. Mm, I agree with you. If the connection is bad, then the student, it would be dif difficult for the student to follow the lesson. Yeah. Right. Um, Hang, do you, is there any other thing that you, that you are, is there any other advantage of online learning that you that, like a good point about virtual learning is that uh, I have more time to do other stuff and mm -hmm. also I could organize my schedule pretty well and it I would say it's more of a personalized experience for me rather than being at class so uh, your child say that online learning would help her to have a more flexible schedule so she would have more time for other activities. Do you agree? Uh, yes, I totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. But is there any other disadvantage of virtual learning that you think I in think terms of uh, time? An argument I speak of online learning is that um, it can make it difficult for students student to uh, discuss face-to-face -face with the teacher. Mm -hmm. um, there are so many problems that uh, not can be solved in the uh, online virtual learning. Mm. Uh, they can only be solved when uh, the teacher and the student uh, <coughs> interact face-to-face. -face. Interact face-to-face. -face. Yeah, so I agree that online learning has its own advantages and disadvantages. Um, so as a student, kind thinks that um, online learning is advantageous. But as a parent, you think um, you are against online learning. Okay. Yes. So I think um, everybody has their own opinion about online learning. Um, and for students, you, um, you can try to make the best out of online learning. And as a parent, you can um, advise your children to learn on online. Um, effectively. effectively, more effectively. Okay, yeah. thank you for coming here today. Yeah. And this is our talk show. Thank you for listening. <laughs> thank you, Nhi and Kang, for coming here to do our talk show. Now I will give you some feedbacks and comments. For useful expressions, I think both of you have done a great job in using these expressions for your idea, also, you, are, you have already used these opinions and um, the evidence and examples here to support your idea, which is good. But about the pronunciation and grammar, I think you should focus a little bit more about uh, pronunciation and grammar to make, um, to make the sentence. For example, um, you say a positive aspect of online learning is that. It should be the whole sentence. And for fluency, I think you have also done a good job um, for fluency. Thank you for joining our talk show today.
So what have we learned today? We have learned some vocabulary on the topic of online learning, and you have used useful expressions to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of online learning and give reasons for your opinion. At home, I would like you to record yourself in two minutes talking about the advantages or disadvantages of online learning and give reasons for your choice. And also do the exercise lesson four in your workbook. Thank you for your attendance today. Goodbye.